Introducing the very best folk from where you live. Sunday evenings with Andrew Marston, BBC Hereford and Worcester. And our story behind the song tonight comes from a Telford musician who's gotten back into music after a life-changing diagnosis. Pippin Henderson got into music at a young age, influenced by his father, who was a professional singer. But in his teenage years, he was diagnosed with leukaemia, which began a long road of battles for survival and recovery. And says music was his escape, and when he wasn't in hospital, he was almost always in his room writing poetry or lyrics. But after a spell of not doing anything with music, he's returned to the craft of his childhood and decided to release some brand new songs. Music has been a big part of the family, really. It's been floating around ever since I was really little. My dad used to play quite a bit in the local pubs and clubs, and he played quite a bit before I was born. My earliest memories is really of him playing a guitar, and that's really what made me want to pick up a guitar. When I started playing the guitar, I always tried to sing along to it. I started getting into bands when I was in college and I was studying music there. I got into quite a few rock and metal bands because I had quite an influence with my mum who was into Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. And I had a lot of bands when I was growing up which revolved around that kind of music. My dad was more into folk, country and western, a lot of classical, so he wouldn't really into that kind of stuff that my mum was into. She was more pop and rock. Well, my influences were quite broad, to be fair. They're always being added to. At the moment, I'm really into artists that can really tell a story. They're really good lyricists. I've recently started listening to Jordan McCamper, J.P. Sachs, Yeba, Singrid, just really good lyricists. Those are my inspirations at the moment. When I was in school, I was quite heavily into poetry. And so in my English classes, I'd write quite a lot of poetry and think about alternative words and how to formulate a sentence using different words than just generic ones. I try to find words with a bit more meaning and try and put that into my music. My first ever band, we used to play the Newport Open Mic Night. It was every Thursday and it was just a blast and it gave us a real chance to experiment with our music and go up and get a taste of what it was like to play in front of a live audience. They're so great. We used to play at the Haygate quite a bit, which is a shame it's been knocked down. We had some really good gigs there. So yeah, we played in Shrewsbury a few times. He's a solo artist. I haven't had the chance to go out and test it yet. I really want to try and get my EP down and make sure that it sounds good. And then hopefully, maybe later on in the year, I'll try and go and test it out. I'll sit at the piano or the keyboard and I will come up with a melody. That tends to be how it's working so far. But I have had that Ulrika ha-ha moment three o'clock in the morning when you have to get up and write it down. There's a million different ways that I could find the way to say that I care. When I was 11 on Christmas Eve, I got diagnosed with leukaemia, which affected me quite a lot over the years. That was three years of treatment and a five-year remission. The thing about music is it's a kind of a therapy, especially when writing music. It's my own self-diagnosed therapy, and it's just a great way of being able to release how you're feeling in a creative way. And I learned a lot of that through listening to music while I was going through a lot of treatment and quite a lot of hard times. I've never really tackled the subject head on in a song format. The experiences around that, I suppose you could say, have helped me to explain my feelings more. And you take from pain and experiences and you turn them into a creative process. About a year ago, I made the decision that I wanted to get back into music because I had a big break from it for quite a long time due to all kinds of things. But it's a workaround trying to do it in my spare time through work and stuff and felt like I had quite a few things to say and I wanted to get out. I started writing Who You Are, which is the first single I've released, which is going to be on the EP. So here they are, they never thought They'd be this far from where they bought Into the lies they told each other